John Shafania is about to head off to nursery school for the first time. He's the third and last child in his family to leave the nest. His mother, Betsy, recently had to go back to work as a dental assistant to help out with the family's finances, and she had to enroll John in a full-time program. After years of being together all day, this would be their first time apart. He was excited. You know, he wanted to go, and he, he had to go out and get his lunchbox, and he was act anxious. You know, he went with me to pick out his clothes, and he was all excited about going to school. But as the moment of separation drew nearer, John's excitement turned to fear. Everybody's here, William. Okay. Go out the doorway. Okay, have you, John? Here. Here. I felt sad. I was torn, you know, between leaving because he really wanted me to stay and kept holding on to me, saying, "I want to stay with you. I want to go with you." Uh, I felt bad, you know, leaving him that way without knowing that he just went in and that he kind of adjusted and was quiet and. I didn't totally expect him to be that, you know, that upset, you know, holding on to me, you know, like, like he did. Since the school doesn't permit mothers to stay, Betsy had to leave while John was still crying. And John was hardly alone in his tears. Many youngsters separating from mom for the first time are terrified that they'll never see her again. Sue Grazia, principal of Small World North in Yonkers, New York, says she and the teachers here have a special way of making the first day at school a lot less scary. I let them cry, Mama, Mama, because they want to cry, Mama. And as they're crying, I'm constantly whispering and talking to them, it's going to be all right, Mama will come back, uh, we love you, you're going to be fine. Every classroom in this building as a rocking chair. Being a grandma myself, of four, I know how important rocking chairs are. I kind of picture myself or the teachers like giant eagles and with little baby birds, holding them, taking their arms as wings and hugging this child and rocking this child, which is very, very soothing to a child. While Sue and the teachers may get the kids to calm down and settle into the day's activities, their moms may still be worrying about them, remembering their tears. I think it's more difficult for a mother than it is for her child because a child naturally is very young, can be very distracted from his uh, insecurity feelings during the day, but we can't do that to a mother. We can't go to her job and tell her everything is fine, he's really enjoying himself and if you had come back 20 minutes after you had gone, you would see that he's now part of a group and enjoying himself. And John's mother, Betsy, is no exception. She admits she worried about her son, even as she worked. I thought about him all day, you know. My mind was like, you know, always, there, you know, at school thinking about him. You know, wondering if he was crying or if he was, you know, did he adjust, was he having a good time? And, you know, was he playing? And indeed, John was having a good time. But before long, it was time to go home. Betsy and her two older children were there to greet John, anxiously waiting to see how his first day went. I was excited and, uh, I was kind of weepy, which is funny to be. Felt like I was going to cry when he was coming out more than I did this morning. I was very happy to see that he had a good day. You know, I really thought maybe he'd say I don't want to go anymore. You know, but he was he came out really happy and excited. So I guess he'll go back. Betsy's work schedule enables her to be with John and her other two kids after school. She enjoys her work, but at the same time, she wants to spend as much time as possible with her children, especially with John. It's very important to me, because uh, he's the baby, and uh, I enjoy being with him an awful lot, you know, and doing things with him. You know, I don't want to miss that much you know, with him, which was the decision when I went back to work. I wasn't sure. I feel relieved that... Uh, the first day's over and that it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be and that he was happy and that the day went nice, you know, all the way around. 
We recently checked with Betsy and we found out that John has adjusted very well to his new nursery school. His principal, Mrs. Grazia, has a few tips that might help you through this emotional time. Try to take your youngster to the school or the daycare center before the first day so that he or she can get to know the place and the teachers. Remember to tell your child that you will be back and give a specific time. And finally, no matter how your child may protest that first day, make the break. It will only be harder to separate later on.